The Little Fire Engine by Lois Lenski. The Little Fire Engine. The Little Fire Engine by Lois Lenski. Fireman Small has a little fire engine. He keeps it in the firehouse. The little fire engine is a pumper. A pumper uses its engine to pump the water. The truck carries black suction hose on one side and a ladder on the other. The fire hose is in the body of the truck. It's also got things like red lights and sirens and a bell and an ax and a chemical fire extinguisher. We even got a toolbox, but we can't see what's in that. Fireman Small sleeps upstairs in the firehouse. Ding, 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 goes the alarm bell. Two, three, fire at church in Summer Streets, calls Fireman Small. He jumps out of bed quickly. Fireman Small slides down the pole. Fireman Small puts on his helmet and rubber coat. He jumps on the seat and starts the engine. Mm -hmm. The other firefighters come running too. Tinker the fire dog comes running too. Good dog, Tinker. The firehouse doors swing open. The little fire engine moves into the street. Nang, 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 nang goes the bell. The little fire engine goes faster and faster. All the cars pull over to the curb to let it pass. Nang, 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 nang goes the bell. Ooh -wee -oo goes the siren. The little fire engine turns the corner into the main street. Nang, 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 nang goes the bell. Ooh -wee -oo goes the fire, the siren. All the people stop to look. Where is the fire? The little fire engine comes to church in Summer Street. The corner house is on fire. Smoke is coming out of doors and windows. The little fire engine slows down by the hydrant and drops off the hose. There's the hydrant. The firemen unload the hose from the truck. They load the hose to the fire, or they lay the hose to the fire. A lot of people hanging out. The fire, fireman small screws the nozzle on the end of the hose. The other end goes to the pumper. The suction hose goes from the pumper to the hydrant. So there's fireman small and there's other firemen too. Go inside the house, shouts Fireman Small. Find out where the fire is. The firemen take pikes and axes and march in at the door. Start the pump, orders uh, Fireman Small. Turn the water on. The pump starts pumping. Swish, the water comes shooting out of the nozzle. The family carry sofa, lamps, tables, and chairs out of the house. You should never do this. This is an irresponsible family. Never go back into a house that's on fire. You should have a fire plan. Does your family have a plan for if there's a fire? Maybe you should get one. Also a plan for other disasters. California gets earthquakes. Minnesota gets hurricanes. You should have a different plan for each or whatever you get where you are and for fires. A fireman calls out the window. The fire is around the kitchen chimney. Fireman Small and his men take the hose to the kitchen. They rush in at the back door. Oh! 
Oh, look! Everyone looks! A little girl is standing at the upstairs window. She has a kittens in her arms. Mama, she calls. Stay right where you are, answers her mother. Fireman Small is coming. He will bring you down. This is why you don't go back in your house. If it's on fire, you stay out of the house. They should have had a plan. Good thing Fireman Small is there. Get the ladder, orders Fireman Small. The firemen run and bring the ladder. Run it up, hurry! Fireman Small climbs up the ladder. He lifts the little girl out of the window and carries her down. She runs to her father and mother. Hooray, shout the people. Next time, hmm. Fireman Small goes up the ladder again. He takes his ax. The fire is in the attic now. He chops a hole in the roof. Fire, the firemen take the hose up the ladder. Fireman Small squirts water down into the hole. Sss. White clouds of steam rise up. The flames die down. The fire is out, shouts Fireman Small. Stop the pump. Turn off the water. The firemen do what they are told. They put everything back in the truck. Tinker is still waiting in her seat. There's Tinker. The fire is over, says Fireman Small. Move right back in again. The family carry their sofa, lamps, tables, and chairs into the house. Hopefully tonight they'll come up with a better plan for if there's a fire in the future. The fire is over, says Fireman Small. Let's go. He drives slowly back to the firehouse. And that is all about Fireman Small. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story. Bye-bye.